This is a demonstration video looking at the comparison between the burn characteristics of hydrogen and propane. When hydrogen is burnt in air, it burns with a near invisible flame. The products of combustion are water and heat. No carbon dioxide is formed as there is no carbon in the fuel. Nitrous oxides can however form due to the heat and the presence of nitrogen in air. If the hydrogen is contaminated, for example, by bubbling the hydrogen through salt solution, the color of the flame changes to reflect the contamination in the hydrogen. As shown here, where an orange flame is produced as a result of the sodium contamination by bubbling the hydrogen through sodium chloride solution. Burning hydrogen also releases heat energy that can be put to use. For example, cooking a marshmallow. Since heat travels upwards, holding the marshmallow towards the side of the flame is not the most effective way to transfer heat to the marshmallow. However, eventually, some caramelization of the marshmallow occurs. The caramelized marshmallow is a little burned. However, the sugar rush is still there when we consume the marshmallow. Mm. Hydrogen is one of the few gases that has a very wide flammability range. Hydrogen can burn from around 4 to 75% in air. Whereas if we compare this with propane, which has a very narrow flammability range from only around 2 to 10%. So this difference in flammability range affects the burn characteristics of the fuel. Now if we compare burning propane in the same setup as we use for the hydrogen, we get a very different color of flame. At the base, the flame appears blue in color. This is because the propane has reacted nicely with oxygen in an efficient manner. But as the flame travels upwards, because oxygen has been consumed at the base, the top of the flame is now deprived of oxygen, so we could end up with incomplete combustion. And as propane contains carbon, we're going to have a variety of byproducts. These are going to be carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and indeed even soot. A classic Bunsen burner is a good example to see the effect of mixing oxygen with the fuel to improve the burn. As the collar is rotated on the bottom of the Bunsen burner, this can introduce more oxygen into the mix of the fuel. This improves the burn at the top. And as a result, the flame changes in color. We have a quick look at the components of a Bunsen burner. There is a burner tube, there is a collar, and at the base there is an orifice where the gas flows through. So this demonstration video has shown, particularly with hydrocarbon fuels, why it is so important to correctly mix the fuel with air. Otherwise you can get harmful products formed, such as carbon monoxide. So it is always advisable to use a properly designed burner. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.